So who does control the world? Who are the emperors? Overwhelmingly, the United States since the Second World War, Britain before that, uh, and uh, concentrations of private power, which are enormous and uh, a tyrannical uh, corporation is closely linked to the powerful states. It's a, a, ne a network of uh, concentrated power with, other, with institu international institutions like the IMF and so on, uh, which are called, uh, they sometimes call themselves the masters of the world. That's a phrase that was in the Financial Times, a little ironically, but not, uh, not wrong. Actually, they call themselves the masters of the universe. Uh, Adam Smith called themselves the masters of the world. Now they're called the masters of the universe. We've gone a bit beyond it. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have space age in uh, Smith's time. But don't you sometimes need big government to deal with big business, that in, in a sense there is a kind of balance between these large forces? It's, it's like saying there's a balance between two members of the board of directors of General Motors. Yes, there's, a, there's some kind of a balance, but they're so closely interlinked and they're connected that they're uh, uh, to first approximation, they're the same thing. Now, did September the 11th, do you think, mark a change in world politics? It's a historic event. It was the first time in hundreds of years that uh, the West, Europe, and its offshoots have uh, suffered the kind of uh, criminal atrocity that they constantly uh, uh, carry out against others, which is quite a change. That's why there's such shock in the West. This kind of thing we do to you, you don't do it to us. I mean, it's like the uh, reaction in uh, England when, uh, at the time of the uh, so-called Indian Mutiny Rebellion in India, tremendous shock that they should do to us what we do to them all the time. And the genius of the would use it as an opportunity to uh, uh, intensify uh, repressive and uh, sometimes violent actions, and that's just what's happened. So the Russians uh, took it as an opportunity to step up their atrocities in Chechnya, uh, assuming correctly that they would be authorized by Washington, at least tacitly. Uh, China did the same in Western China, uh, Indonesia and Aceh, uh, Israel and the occupied territories. Uh, and you run through the list. Uh, and the, uh, I mean, countries ranging from the Central Asian dictatorships to uh, democratic societies like the United States and others uh, have used it as an opportunity to clamp down on their own citizens.